You know, the much-awaited uh, electric two-wheeler launch from Ola happened yesterday. It could be a big disruptive moment for the traditional auto two-wheeler industry. So let's take a look at what was unveiled and how does it stack up really. Now, Ola launched two models, the S1 and the S1 Pro. Battery capacity is 3 kWh and 3.9 kWh, respectively. This is the capacity, the power of the, that the battery has. Uh, there was a fair bit of anxiety about how much can these vehicles go without needing a refuel or a recharge in this case. Well, Ola seems to have taken that concern head on. The range on a full charge battery is 121 kilometers for the S1, and for the next model, it is 181 kilometers, 121 and 181. Top speed is good, 90 kilometers and 115 kilometers, respectively. How much time does uh, you know full charge need? Well, charging time is five hours and six and a half hours, respectively. If you use and if you use Ola Supercharger, uh, you get 50% charging in 18 minutes flat. The other specs are good too: seven-inch touchscreen display, cruise control, keyless access, and many other functions. Good boot space as well. Now, how does Ola S1 compare the base model compared to the EV offerings already out there? Well, Ola has priced the uh, offering, the product, pretty competitive, comparatively, as you can see here. The Ola S1 will cost approximately 90,000 rupees, approximately, on-road, post-subsidies, and I mean, assuming a little bit for insurance, etc., as well, cheaper than the other EV offerings out there. Well, that was the comparison with electric uh, two-wheelers. How does it fare against traditional petrol scooters? Uh, now, here also there is a fair bit of assumption. We are looking at Ola S1 as compared to the Honda Activa 6G model. As you can see, the price, post, fame, and the state level subsidy, which varies by state, uh, in Delhi in this particular case, on the road works out to approximately 90,000 rupees for Ola S1 as compared to about 80,000 rupees for Honda's model. Now, I've assumed electricity costed about 10 rupees a unit. Now, this also can go up to 16, 17 in some states. Fuel, which is, of course, uh, relevant in the case of Honda, I've assumed 100 rupees a litre in terms of the cost of petrol. Now, assuming that both these are driven about 10,000 kilometres in one year, as you can see, the workings, the total cost of ownership, and we should go back to the table, works out to approximately 93,250 rupees for Ola S1 uh, and 96,500 rupees for Honda Activa. There is a fair bit of assumption here, assumptions here, maintenance costs, etc., which I've put in, which, which, which may vary or be a little different depending on how you use the vehicle. Uh, so the difference is not that much, the total cost of ownership, ownership between both these. For EVs, the big concern uh, was the price point, and Ola seems to be quite competitive. Just to be clear, once again, this is a simple first cut calculation. I have not discounted performance in the real world, which will drop in both these uh, cases. Uh, and also in the case of electric vehicles, there is battery degradation. So batteries need replacement after a few years. So there is that cost as well. But I think we can go with that calculation because this is the first one year driven for about 10,000 kilometers. So how disruptive can this be? Who will it impact the most in the listed space? Well, TVS has the highest exposure to scooters amongst listed two-wheeler OEMs. Uh, out of the total scooters sold in India, uh, the unlisted Honda, of course, has over a 50% share. But the listed space, TVS, is the one which is impacted. Now, uh, you know, traditional older uh, internal combustion engine auto companies have, have and are also getting into the EV space quite aggressively. To give you a sense, TVS and Bajaj launched their first electric scooters a year and a half ago. Hero plans to launch a fast charging electric scooter by March of 2022. Hero, by the way, has another play here. It owns about 35 odd percent in Aether Energy, which launched its first electric scooter in 2018. Honda as yet has not launched an electric scooter, although it is the leader uh, in the scooter space, as I said, with a 50, greater than 50 percent market share. So, I mean, Ola has the funding. The starting capacity is huge, 10 lakh per, uh, units per annum. And now, as we know, pricing is also competitive which could make it a formidable player in the two-wheeler space. What remains to be seen is real-world custo customer experience. I mean, customers actually getting onto one of these things, riding it, and giving feedback. Word of mouth, of course, matters for quite a bit. While, uh, you know, while it will also, Ola will also need to ramp up its charging infrastructure and make sure that after-sales services are top-notch, one thing I think remains quite clear and certain for the auto industry, not just here, but everywhere, the future is electric.